Hello everyone, Big Mike Chassis here today, and today we're going to be talking about what the hell are we going to talk about? Oh, hey, 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 hey here, Wisdom Nart and Big Mike Chassis. Check out his content. It's a transmission. <laughs> Alright everyone, uh, I know what to talk about, um, I just saw the trailer for the new Michael Myers film, the final trailer, so they say, every time when Hollywood says, the final something, you know damn well, it's not the final trailer, it's not the final chapter, it's not the final, to God, whatever. They're going to be making that money, but oh my gosh. Halloween Kills drops October 15th, and shortly after, Chucky from Child's Play makes his grand debut on TV on October 19th. Oh man, yo, if they just had Jason and Freddy on those, you would get my four favorite icons. Michael Myers, my favorite, you know, I, I wasn't too keen on the episode, I mean, not the episode, uh, the 2018 one, I thought it was entertaining, I thought it was good, but I felt like it was short, it was, it, they, there was some stuff that they need to, okay, you go there, you go there, you go there, boom, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, there's, but uh, also my problem, my problem with the Halloween films now, I feel like any time Jamie Lee Curtis is like banging on on uh, John Carpenter's door or the director, whoever, it's like, oh, I got a fucking idea for a new Halloween. Open up. Bah, 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 bah. They always have to retcon the series. Okay, so she got Halloween 1, Halloween 2, right? Jump forward to Halloween H2O. So, 4, 5, 6. Boom. Out the window. Like the only ones that matter is 1, 2, Halloween H2O, Resurrection. Boom. And then they have to reboot it, right, with Rob Zombie. I, I I do not like Rob Zombie. I like his music. I don't. I like the first Halloween. I despise the second one. Some kills are good, but that's one. And now with this one, it's like what forty years later. The only thing that matters is Halloween, nineteen seventy-eight. Skip two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and then go to 2018. And this this one is a clever title. Can you guess what it's called? Halloween. Yeah. My favorite movie in the Halloween franchise is Halloween. Oh, which one? There's three. The the 1978. The 2007 reboot and you got 2018 <laughs> uh, that, that's how I feel I, mean, I feel like Jamie Lee Curtis always like boom 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 I got an idea let's, let's retcon all that and make the first one count only when that matters so that's just but the trailer oh my god it looks so cool man I can't wait it's the whole town from what I saw from the trailer this is my perspective though Whole town is sick of Michael's shit, and they're all going after his ass. So, Michael, you gotta fucking hide in the bushes. You gotta pull some James Bond shit because everyone wants your ass, man. Holy shit. I already know 
that Hollywood will make another one. Halloween Ends, I think that's the third in this franchise, this trilogy, if you want to call it. I'm drinking orange juice, if anyone is wondering. Not mangoes, not any of that stuff. So, oh man, that looks so cool. Damn it. And then for the Chucky uh, TV show, basically, I don't know where it takes place. I don't know if it takes place after Cult. Because he doesn't have his scars. Or it's doing what Halloween's doing. It's retconning the only one, two, and three matters. I don't know where they're going with that, but it should be an interesting ride. So, what happened... What's the story about this is this kid goes to a yard sale, he collects old dolls so that he makes a shrine out of them. I don't know, it's pretty fucked up. He gets the, doll, the doll's head and collects them and makes a something like a collection of heads of dolls. So he went there, saw Chucky, buys them for like 10 bucks. And then this kid's in high school, right? And for some strange reason, he takes Chucky to to high school with him. I don't know if he snuck into his backpack or what, but he goes to high school with him. I'm like, why the fuck are you bringing your doll, man? That's just a target. The kids are going to make fun of you, especially if you're a freshman. Oh, my God, your ass is going to get fucked. So he goes there, and of course, it's a Chucky film, so there's going to be some mischief. I like I liked the fact... I like one part in the trailer where, uh, you know, Chucky's sitting down and he's playing video games with this little girl. And she says, Mommy says that violence is bad. And then Chucky just, because it's, it's played by Brad Dourif. I love Brad Dourif. He, you may know he's in The Lord of Rings. He's in Halloween. He's not Halloween. He's in Aliens 3. He's in one of the Aliens. One of the Alien films. He said one flew over the cuckoo's nest, and he's in Chucky. I mean, he's also in Deadwood, and I believe he's in one CSI or Criminal Minds. I always get those two mixed up because it's the same shit. Okay, it's the same shit. So Chucky brings Chucky. Uh, oh yeah. So he says. Uh, well, mommy's full of shit. Before he says shit, he cuts out. Mommy's full of shit. And, uh, yeah, so, returning cast members, like, um, spoilers, if you haven't seen it, or if you don't want to skip it, skip this part. Uh, Andy Barkley, Alex Vincent, he played as Andy Barkley. Uh, Kyle, uh, Jennifer Tilly will be playing as Tiffany, Chucky's bride, you know, but the one person I want them to bring back is Ch Andy's mother. I want to know what happened to her and maybe, uh, Detective Mike Norris. We haven't seen them since 1989. Or 88. Or is 89? 88. One of the two. Since Child's Play 1. Okay. Oh, what else are we going to talk about, man? Jeez. Okay, so with that all the way, Halloween. Okay, I want to know what's going on. Uh, now, we're talking about Halloween. Going out for candies, going out trick-or-treating, parties, all that stuff. I want to know what's going on, right? Can kids trick or treat? I mean, with all this passport shit, this this restriction that they're doing, are kids allowed to go trick or treat? That's why I want to know. Because, fuck you, if I was a kid or if I was of age, I would go trick or treat. I'm not wearing no mask. I mean, I have to wear a mask on top of a mask. For instance, I covered this. That will be the link down below as well. I believe episode two. You've been pro
protesting since May of last year. Wow, my God. I don't know how long this is going on for, but can kids go trick-or-treating? I still haven't seen my niece and nephew. Um, they're not talking to me because I, I screwed up. I didn't answer the call once, and they think that, you know, I don't care for them. That hurt. That fucking hurts, man. Are kids allowed to go trick-or-treating? Do you need this vaccine passport? When is enough enough? Okay? The government is fucking you guys. Fucking you guys. And you guys are blind. You guys are allowing this to happen. And some of you call me up and say, well, I'm in the same boat as you for uh, because, you know, I'm screwed. I don't have this app on my phone. I have a flip phone or whatever the case may be. And my friend is struggling to get this, this thing as their exemption. So I'm like, you know what? I know you mean well, but you made this path. And I'm talking to you directly. I know I'm going to get a phone call after this is uploaded, so I'm waiting. You made this path. You made your bed. Sleep in it. I don't mean to be harsh. I'm just sick of people saying, waking up now. It's too late. You allowed this to go so damn far. I'm in the same boat as you because I'm screwed. I said, no, you're not. No, you're not. You're not in the same boat because I'm going to talk to you directly, clearly. You wear the mask. You take the vaccine. You follow everything the government says. But you respect me for my choice. I, re I respect that, you know? I like that. But you can go to the store and you wear a mask. No one hassles you. I go to the store, when I go to the hospital, when I go to even across the street, to my local convenience store. Excuse me, sir, do you have a mask? No. Do you see me wear a mask? Do you see me, do you see a mask on my face? And when I say no, sometimes when I tell them, can you tell me your reason? That's, that's, we gotta get into an argument. Why? I don't know. Just let me beat this fuck up, okay? Excuse me, have you taken your vaccine? No, I have not. Oh, can I, may I ask why? None of your fucking business. How about you suck my cock? Stupid bitch. And then I get death threats. So no, you do not get the same reaction as Brennis and I. You do not get the same reaction at the protest and I. So, there's that, okay, so, so, uh, I know you're, you're worried, you're screwed, whatever, but, um, you, you allow, you guys allowed this to happen, and, oh, by the way, before you say, well, I'm doing it for my safety, I'm doing it for my health, I'm doing it for this, I'm doing it for that, can, can no one come up with a better answer, I mean, everyone's saying that, I gotta look after my family. I gotta look after my health. I gotta look after my this, my this, that, that, that. I understand health is concerned and is a big thing. I understand your family is that, but stop being so self-centered and only think about yourself. Okay. There's other people in this world. Oh, and I sp there's other people in this world who have exempt who cannot wear it for this reason. Are you a doctor? Are you a fucking doctor? I'm going to a movie to get popcorn and sit down and watch a movie. And I got this smart ass saying, oh, excuse me, sir. One, will you suck my cock? Two, are you going to wear a mask? Or where's your mask? Three, where's your passport? Dear kind sir, I will answer all your three questions. No, I will not, but I have a friend that will. 
We'll gladly jump on that. Two, do you see me with a mask? No, I do not have a mask. And three, okay, I'll give you my passport. Uh, let me get it for you. Here you go. Is this good enough for you? So, oh, there's that. And I especially love... I love how people are doctors, people are nurses, people are working the health department. Yet the moment they, you tell them that you have an exemption or the reason why you can't wear a mask, they look at you like, Huh? What? Bitch, don't you work in the health department? Are you really a doctor? You deal with thousands of people a day. You're going to come, the people are going to come in, black or white, you know, Chinese, Mexican, uh, Japanese, Scottish, you know, British, Irish, Dutch. You're going to deal with so many different people, right, and their conditions. If, yet the fact that someone says you can't wear a mask, you're like, what do I do, doctor? This is why you go to medical school. This is why you go to this. This is why you became a doctor. Hello? Hello? Okay. I, I'm just worried about Halloween and what's to come. Okay. Will Ford try to cancel it again? Because... Fuck you, I'm going to have a party, I'm going to get candy, I'm going to do all that shit, I'm going to watch my horror movies, I'm going to do everything that's Halloween. Okay? And Halloween means a lot to me, okay? I fucking love Halloween. People might say, hey, grow up, you know, hey, grow up. Please don't tell me what to do. Okay? I enjoy Halloween. I love horror movies. Uh, I love the creative, you know, people put their costumes together. I love the the family costumes that they come up with. I know when my sister and I, we used to do Halloween, we'd have like a Halloween theme. So one day we would go as Disney characters. Then next we would go as um, horror movies. The next we would go as superheroes. You know, it would be themed. So we don't do that anymore because I have I, I don't talk I haven't talked to her in a while. So there's that. I'm still waiting for wisdom not. You know. I have somebody just staring at me. This is why I don't really open the blinds because you get some weird ass people. <laughs> the guy is rubbing his face. I'm just fucking ignoring it. <laughs> oh, what the fuck are you doing? He's still looking. He's putting his finger in his chin like this. He's going like this. What the fuck? Fucking weirdo. Anyways, let me see if I can get a shot of this guy. Okay, hold, bear with me. This person's doing some uh, fucking... Plans the lamb shit. I think he's giving me the middle finger. Anyways, that being said. <laughs>